I got called in to meet with Andrew and Sasha, which was terrifying um, because I went into the room and there were three guys sitting there, all of which, they were built like Greek gods, you know, good looking people, and you thought, oh, what's the point? But anyway, I went in there, I forgot my lines eight times, I think, sweating profusely. But then it started to go really well. Uh, and at the end of it, I thought, the chemistry certainly was there with Sasha, and it was one of those auditions that was painless and effortless and easy. And what interested me most was Jared's problem. You know, two problems. One, humanity as we know it uh, has been wiped out. You know, friends, family, uh, the world. The world is, is gone. Um, so there's that truth to deal with, but also the fact that the love of his life, Melanie, is lost and becomes a soul. So to him, she is dead. And he, he has to find purpose, and he does find purpose. He finds his place in the cave. Um, but then to have her return, you know, to have her ghost return, you know, her spectre return, and a rational person would have said, right, well, she's a soul, she's no longer a human, kill her. And Jared is torn between that logic and the fact that Despite the fact she's a soul, it's still the form of the girl he loves most standing in front of him. Sasha Ronan, who from the first moment I met her in London, I just knew it was going to be easy. I mean, some people are just easy to work with. And you watch her, and you look at her face, and you think, what's she doing that's so special? And you can't, you can't define it, but there's something about her. It's just all there, everything. It's always spot on, perfectly informed. So working with Sasha is a joy. Jake, you know, he's a great guy and a lovely actor. And it's nice having someone on set who's in a similar place and position to you. William Hurt, you know, he's a master. Uh, so you can learn from him, you know, every day, listen and learn from him. With Stephanie Meyer and, and Twilight, you know, it's a phenomenon unlike anything else, I suppose there's the Hunger Games now, uh, but these huge franchise movies. Um, and you see what happened to those actors who were involved in them, and, and it's, it's nuts, it's crazy. Uh, but people often say, you know, this is the host, same author, it could be the same thing. Whether it is or isn't, I don't know, but I think as an actor, you can't pay attention to that. That's, that's consequential of what the work you're doing, and then I think, it's our job and duty and what we're paid for to pay attention to the, to the movie we're making. If there's anyone who can write it convincingly and movingly and touchingly, it's Stephanie. Uh, she's in touch with something that a lot of other people can't quite get right, and she gets it right fairly consistently, hence the incredible success of every bit of work she's done.